Did Niantic just fix throwing in Pokemon Go? According to the internet, they did. But I only trust my own data. If you're out of the loop, here's the 10 second summary. Sometime around last Friday, Niantic released the 0.317.0 update, which seriously changed catch mechanics for the worse. Balls now had to be thrown farther for the same result, breaking muscle memory, making one-handed catching much more difficult, and making some faraway Pokémon impossible to catch. Check out my previous video up there if you want to know more. The fix is apparently in the 0.319.0 update, which just started rolling out. It isn't available to most people yet, so to test it, I installed it from apkmirror.com. Please don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Okay, let's go gather some data. Okay, I'm back. I had about an hour to walk around and get excellence. And what I found is pretty encouraging. The mechanics feel like they're back to normal, just like the internet is saying. Most encouragingly, I was able to get an excellent on a Lickitung, which was notoriously difficult when the catch mechanics were broken. Let's have a look at a few comparisons between throws before the bug, during the bug, and after the bug was allegedly fixed. For each of these comparisons, I'm going to show a scatter plot of excellent throw release points. These are the points at which my finger left the screen on an excellent throw. Generally, the further up the screen, the harder the throw was. Most convincing is my data on Grimer. First, here are the release points before the bug was introduced in blue. Then, here are the release points during the bug in pink. We see that the release points are more up to the left of the screen, showing that a much harder throw was needed. Then, let's look at the release points in red after the 0.319.0 patch, which supposedly fixes the bug. We see that these points overlap really well with the release points from before the bug was introduced. This alone is great evidence that the bug has been fixed, but let's look at some more data and see what we can make of it. For Meowth, we see a distinct shift in release points from before the bug to during the bug. After the bug was fixed, we see that most points return to the pre-bug cluster, with one outlier. Where a throw goes is a combination of release point and release speed, so some outliers are expected. For Machop, the data grows a little more murky. The post-bug release points are quite widely scattered. It's hard to say if they're consistent with the pre-bug release points, but I think from my experience it's safe to say that the lowest point would definitely not have been an excellent throw on the buggy version. Mankey has a similar situation. I was only able to obtain two excellent throws on Mankey during my 0.319.0 testing. One of them is consistent with pre-bug, and one with bug. But just like with Machop, I don't think the lowest point would have resulted in an excellent throw on the buggy version. Overall, I think my experience with Lickitung, Grimer, and Meowth provide the best empirical evidence that the bug has been fixed. And Machop and Mankey, while somewhat inconclusive, aren't enough to convince me otherwise. On top of that, from a subjective point of view, I do feel, along with others who have tried the new patch, that the catch mechanics have been reverted to their original state. Take that for what you will. I hope that this closes the chapter on this particular bug and controversy. It looks like my old archive of excellent throws is now valid again, which I'm very thankful for. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.